just steps from the hustle and bustle of Mattapan Square, you'll find another, smaller hustle and bustle inside these boxes beside Blue Hill Ave. You can tell the mood of bees when you open the cover by the sound that they make. The hives inside these boxes are home to around 100,000 bees. And they fan their wings and they buzz their wings. It makes this high-pitched sound. They belong to Mike Graney, urban beekeeper and champion of local honey. And when they're all doing that, it makes this, it's like... It's almost like the more base there is to it, you can tell there's more bees that want to stay here. Whoa, now I'm getting lit up. They don't like to get when you take the honey. This thing probably weighs 80 pounds. He says his Boston honey just tastes better than the mass-produced clover honey on supermarket shelves. There's a different variety of flowers around here, which gives you a much more complex honey. He's been keeping bees in Boston since 1997. To master the craft, he says, you're going to get stung. You never get used to it. It, it always hurts. And sometimes get stung a lot, like the time he was moving hives on a rolling dolly. The hives slipped off the dolly and broke into many pieces. <laughs> and. I have never been so stung in my life. Stings on my scalp and on my chest. Your body sends out these chemicals to try to, to deal with the amount of poisons. It's almost like this adrenaline kind of a feeling where you almost feel high. You may have noticed, Mike doesn't wear gloves. There's a little bit of honey in there. Some pros say that gloves can spread diseases between hives. Kind of just gotten used to it. The work of maintaining hives and collecting honey can be slow and meditative, but that's not what attracts Mike to beekeeping. Sure, there's all these metaphors that you can make with the, you know, society that they have and the harmony that they live and, you know, the symbiotic relationships with the flowers and, you know, I find that interesting, but that's really not what draws me to this. I'm in it for the honey.